We changed our 159th Street Homer plan from C2 to I1. And there was a development that was going to come in that Homer plan wanted. They backed off because they said it could be industrial. There's other uses. Uh, the same thing happened uh, two months later in Mokina with Consol and that. It's the same issue. All these cities have the zoning of C2 or C3 or C, you know, on their properties. And then we say, okay, we want to help this one company to come in and say, all right, now you can build your storage unit here, but we're going to make it, we're going to make it I1. Then there's a precedent set for the whole rest of everything to be I1. <coughs> So now the cities are going to be objecting all the time. I said that at the time. I was in favor of that I-1 thing when Rachel was talking about it. It seemed like it made sense. Then after I started thinking about it more, I was against it. And I voted no against it. And I spoke against it. And I was at the Farm Bureau and I suggested that we go back in time and just put it back the way it was so that we don't change the zoning classifications and make something like that boat storage that we got part of C2 with a special use plan. Yeah. And if we do that, we're not changing this stuff for the cities because everybody is surrounded by a city and we're going to be changing the zoning for all these cities. And they're all going to be, they're going to come one after another every time this happens complaining because they, these mayors call me up and I call them up and I tell them, well, this is what it is. And they're mad. And it's, a, it's another thing that we screwed up on, but it wasn't on purpose. It's just a consequence that we did not think of. So it's easy to fix. We just revert it back and say, let's go back to the way it was and then make the storage things a special use. The, when I was at the Farm Bureau, I think uh, they're in favor of what I just said. And I think that the cities would be in favor of that because it doesn't change their zoning. And if we don't, we're going to have we're going to have nothing but headaches from everybody for a long time because it's going to keep coming. I, I, I do think that's the path of least resistance. Staff agrees that we just go back to the way that it used to be. But um, so I agree that we need to go back uh, reverse this. Um, this change uh, because it is not appropriate to have those types of businesses in the agriculture that's not agriculture uh, so if we're going to protect our farmland and our agriculture businesses those are not the type, types of businesses that are going to um, accomplish that um, the second thing is, is there was some discussion in the past when that um, public storage facility came forward to the board and those particular public storage facilities, they're everywhere and they're not industrial. I have one that's a quarter of a mile from my home and it's not industrial and nobody even knows that it's there. Uh, it fits, it blends in. That's, that's more of a commercial use. So I, I know I recommended this in the past. I think that those public storage facilities that are not for trucking but for residents and people who live in Will County, they should be, um, they should be a commercial use, not an industrial use. And then that way, if we have to rezone a parcel, we're not bringing in industrial. We're specifically addressing a need that's very important out there. In fact, my son just two weeks ago just signed a contract for a small storage space uh, because there's no room in our house. <laughs> so a lot of people use it and a lot of people need it. So it's uh, appropriate to put that in commercial versus industrial. So those are two changes. I think that um, I'm on board uh, with making those happen. We already did. Ah, uh, we did? Yes, we did. Okay. Yes, that For was the storage? Yes, that was ordinance 
Would you like to come to the microphone? Yes, if I may. 